Hi, I'm Mindy Madden, Code Enforcement Supervisor with the El Paso County Planning and Community Development Department. The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of our Code Enforcement Program, as well as introduce a new feature of the eDART program that allows citizens to electronically submit a complaint online. The El Paso County Code Enforcement staff is comprised of three Code Enforcement Officers and one Supervisor who are tasked with enforcement of the Land Development Code and certain county ordinances. It is important to highlight that areas are located within an incorporated boundary of a municipality, such as the City of Colorado Springs, are not under the jurisdiction of El Paso County Code Enforcement. Due to the size of our county and our relatively small staff, Code enforcement employs a reactive approach to code enforcement action. In other words, we respond when a complaint of alleged zoning or code violation is received. A new feature of the county's eDART program now allows citizens to easily submit a code enforcement complaint online. Use of the eDART program is now the most effective way to submit a complaint to El Paso County Code Enforcement. To submit a complaint to code enforcement from the eDART homepage, Click on Submit Code Enforcement Complaint found on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. To submit a complaint, a valid address or parcel number for the property in violation is required. If a citizen is reporting violations for multiple properties, a separate complaint must be submitted for each property. If an address for a property that is not located within unincorporated El Paso County is entered, an error will appear. The error will provide contact information for the proper jurisdiction and the complaint will not be accepted. After the property address is entered, the type of violation must be identified. Check boxes are provided for the most common ordinance and land development code violations. At least one box must be checked and a description of the violation entered. The description may include specifics of the violation or the location of the violation, such as trash in the backyard, for example. Citizens also have an option to attach pictures of the violation to the complaint. While this is not necessary, it may be helpful to the code enforcement officer if the violation is not easily visible from a public location such as a road. When submitting a complaint, citizens may choose to remain anonymous or to provide their contact information. Please note that any information provided on the complaint form is subject to Colorado Open Records Act. Once the property address, violation information, and contact information is entered, click on Save and Continue. The next screen will give citizens the option to upload pictures and review the complaint. If the information on the screen is correct, click on Submit. Once a complaint is submitted, it is assigned to a code enforcement officer. The assigned officer will review the complaint and typically visit the property within seven to 10 business days. Citizens can check the status of their complaint by visiting the eDART homepage. On the bottom left-hand side of the screen, click on See All Applications Being Reviewed Now. To search for a complaint, use the drop-down box next to Type and select Code Enforcement. By clicking Search, this will bring up all active code enforcement files. To narrow your search, enter the property address and click Search. Click on the address once it appears under Project Name. This screen shows the status of the complaint, as well as the assigned code enforcement officer and the officer's contact information. If you are unable to find your complaint online using this search, it is likely that the complaint has been closed. You may also search closed code enforcement complaints on the eDARP homepage. From the eDARP homepage, click on Search Archived Files on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. In the project name field, enter the address of the complaint. Next, select CE for code enforcement in the drop down box for file prefix. Then click search. Click on the address under project name to view the complaint. Here you will see that the complaint was closed and the date it was closed. If you believe the complaint was closed in error, please contact the code enforcement officer listed on the complaint. If the violation was corrected, but has since returned, please submit a new complaint using the steps outlined previously in this video. I hope you find eDARP a fast and easy way to submit a code enforcement complaint online. As always, you may contact us at 520-6300 with any questions.